voice of Jesus say, Behold, I freely gave the living water, rest the world to doubt and drink and live. I came to Jesus says, I In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. So we gather this morning, let us place ourselves in God's loving presence, call to mind our sins, as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You sit at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just, and offer pardon to sinners who do penance. Have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon of our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor, I answer you. On the day of salvation, I help you. And I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages. Saying to the prisoners, come out. To those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the way, they shall find pasture and on every height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them, who guides them beside the springs of water. I will cut a road through all the mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Syene. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains, for the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant? He without tenderness, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him and to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless mercy. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. 
Whoever believes in me will never die. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the Son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For what he does, the Son will also do. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the, does the Son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, Whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death into life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is here now when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father is life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this because the hour is coming in which all who are in tombs will hear his voice and will come out. Those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we hear in our first reading about the covenant that God the Father has with his chosen people, and that he would never abandon or forsake them at all. That deep bond of that relationship that the Father had with them revealed himself to Moses and the, through the desert into the promised land, and that covenant being a a bond with them. We hear in our gospel today about how the Son is sent from the Father, and the Son cannot do anything without the Father, Father's knowledge, without the Father's active role within that. Means we know that we 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 believe in God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We pray that we begin every prayer knowing of our triune God, of knowing how intimate. God is with himself and with the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. And we see that life, we know why Jesus has come into the world, to restore us to the love of the Father and to open wide the gates of heaven for us to enter. So Jesus himself dies and rises again to new life, to set us free. That's what this Lenten season is all about in which we journey with Jesus in his suffering 
to the cross, to the grave, and to resurrection. John's gospel is, a, is one trying to explain and, and, and share that relationship with the Father and the Son and that the Spirit is poured out upon us. The Spirit pours out upon us to live as His sons and daughters, to be the models and examples of, of a living Christ, the body of Christ here on earth in our journey in time. So that real intimate relationship is what we experience today in our readings, that intimate relationship of God and then God with us. So as we continue to journey in this Lenten season, let us recognize that deep and full love that God has for all of us, all his chosen people, if we choose to live in a way that's pleasing to the Lord, we will go to the joys of heaven, and if we go the other way, the condemnations we hear in the gospel, we will not be welcomed as well. So today we acknowledge that relationship of God and our relationship with him. As we continue our Lenten journey, let us bring our knees before our merciful Father. For Pope Francis and all the clergy, may God grant them wisdom and courage as they lead the church in truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all elected officials and community leaders, may God guide them in just and prudent decision making. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer oppression, may God in his mercy give them the grace necessary to endure their many sorrows. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For this faith community, may God help us to grow in compassion and in fervor for the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our loved ones who have died, and especially for Carlos Carrizales. May their souls soon enter the joy of the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And let us pause for a moment to lift up to the Lord those special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we ask that you listen to these prayers and grant, grant to us what we truly need. And we ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. humble and contrite hearts and Lord, 
wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he, may he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, Kevin our Bishop, 
Timothy and Tan, his brother bishops, all the bishops and the entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, God did not send his Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him.
Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your, on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. And St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, a prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.